everybody, it's me again, Kale. Here once more playing Tales of Asperia. Last time we left off, side quests aplenty. And I got a couple of more that I want to do. Not too many more. I want to go to Tarkron. I want to get this over with. I don't even remember why we're going to Tarkron anymore. Yes, I do. I know it's to defeat, uh, what's his fuck? Duke. You know, before he destroys the world and everything. Well, not the world, just the everybody on the world. You know, the thing, the things that make the world interesting. But, I do have a few things I want to do before that. Uh, apparently there's a scene here in Dongress that is interesting, and I can't remember exactly how to make it happen. Wait. No. Uh, there's a bar. The bar. One of the bartenders. I think. Oh, I can't remember it quickly. Well, we'll just move on to the other thing I had in mind. I just tried to make myself run faster by at, by inputting the command that I use in Final Fantasy XIV. For my sprint ability. That's how ingrained I get sometimes. Uh, you! Sir! You have a scene for me? Why do you have this? It didn't occur to me that it'd be weird that you have this. The fuck, Tails? Yeah, never mind. Now we have a key. Because as you might remember, when we went to Ga Gafros that one time... Gafros? Doesn't matter. That one time. And we're curious about the stairs that led down. No matter what we did, despite having the upgraded Sorcerer's Ring, the thing that got us down in the first place, wouldn't work. But now we got a key. And keys. Open path pathways. Passages into the unknown, if you will. And with this newfound access, what lore will we uncover, I wonder? Let's go and find out. Also, maybe we can find that one guy's corpse. What's his name? What was his name? It was the inciting incident for all this, and I can't remember his name. Come to think of it. Can we get a key a while back? We got it an hour ago, Yuri! Looks like I might move. Use the sorcerer's ring on it. Boop a doop! Why couldn't we just push the levers ourselves? Man, we're lazy. Ah, so this is what they were keeping in the lower levels. What is all this? That blasting network that Alexei was trying to create. This is all equipment that was to be used for it. This is... Yes, it seems... Barbos, thank you. It seems that he had Barbos set up Gafaros. Gasforos. It's one of the nodes in the network. So, Alexei was behind what Barbos was doing after all. Man, Alexei really is the problem behind all this. It's not in the center of the network. And the other nodes at Gasforost, the capital, Capua, Halur, Heliord, and Ospio. network siphoned air from Plastia all over the world to Zaude, giving him all that power. Air should be used so people can live happily, but he wanted to use it for his own personal gain. And that's what caused this teensy little global catastrophe we're dealing with. I can't forgive what he did. I can't help feeling a little sorry for him. Eh, there's no need to feel sorry for him. Because of Alexei's evil deeds that our world is in such trouble right now. There's no use arguing about someone who's already dead. What's important is that... Is, what's important is that... Is that fight to protect what's important to us now. 
Damn you, script writers, you forgot a Wii! I couldn't have said it better myself. Actually, you could have said it better yourself, Yuri. You could have added a Wii. This is... What's up, Rita? That's what Alexei was using. It's the fake Deinomos. How'd it get here? Wasn't it destroyed in the fortress shrine of Zaude? Maybe he made. Maybe they made multiple copies. Come to think of it, Barbos was using something that was kind of reminiscent of Deinomos too. Very weak, but and unstable, but still. strange. That crude imitation he had. Hmm, why didn't he use this? What a dingus. I don't think anybody's using this tower right now. Power to release the, to release the Autophios to go and defeat it. I like the way that sounds. All right, let's go. False day nomos. How useful is it? It's really not. I like mine better. My Dane Nomos is better. But still, I'm glad that we can link all the horrible things that have happened back to a single dude. Now, the other thing I want to do. To go around the world and find all those damn books. I have a guide. Hold on. Yay. Alright, let's rock and roll. First stop, Halur! Plop. Somewhere in the mayor's house. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Also, might as well poke around here and see if there's any side quests that popped up since the last time I took a nap. Mm. Such a tattered old book you have there. Would you mind if we borrowed it? Certainly. I don't mind. It's just some old technical book. It's all gibberish to me. Thanks a lot. Oh, think nothing of it. I can never thank you enough for what you've done for the town. Meat. Um. Alright. I'll do a quick sweep of the town to make sure there's no other side quests. No interesting people to talk to. Ma'am? Sir? Why aren't you just a downer? Pupper? I've now also realized that I need to talk to every pupper too because they might, you know, provide me with some insight into repeat stuff. Which reminds me, how does that map look now? Oh god, he's reclaimed everything! He's a madman! at him urinating on everything. What a horrible, horrible individual. He's even pissed all over Namco Banda. Oh, more kids I can horrify with, with scary stories? Oh, nope, old people. Oh, it's you. Look at this. Ooh. 
mini fireworks. It's not complete though. Pretty nice, huh? This guy managed to work out the spirit formula. Uh, it's nothing really. I have to say I'm impressed that you managed to cast a spell like this. <laughs> Please, you're too kind. You've already started doing spirit research despite all of your objections earlier? Don't you think that's a little hypocritical? Uh, we're still continuing our blasty research. They just added one more area in which to focus that research. I don't know if I mine or anything. So what sort of formula is it? Don't be so nosy. We're all mages of Ospio, aren't we? We can be civil to each other. Are you interested to keep the construction of this formula in an Ospian secret? Of course. First you draw a textual formula around the outside edge to isolate the fire attribute. Ah, look at them go and nerd out. That's adorable. Maria seemed pretty worried about... Worried. But it looks like these... Looks like things are going to work out. As researchers, the desire to study new things is too powerful to fight. Yeah, might be older than Rita. These mages are all made of the same stuff. So that's how it works. This part is something we haven't been able to understand. How would you do this? Hmm. Oh, I got it! Like this. That's what I said, kind of. That's just too powerful. Sorry. I think that we can use this. What do you think? Do you mind if I use it? Well, we'd prefer something a little less volatile. I need to see if there might be a slightly more practical direction we can take, Sin. Right. Let me give it some more thought as well. I come up with a better way to use that formula. I'll let you know. Thanks a lot. In the meantime, though, this will be an excellent combat strategy. How about the kids? Can I torture the kids with more ghost stories? Yay! Hey, it's the healer girl! Hi! Oh, the tree's flowers look as red as ever. Too bad about that bride's curse. I'm pretty sure that's wrong, Yuri. Wrong? What's wrong? It's fail. It told me. Are you talking to inanimate objects now? Alright. I guess we're eating children's paintings now. Once upon a time, there lived a kind-hearted prince named Jer. Try. No matter. He adored flowers and insects and... He loved the moon, the sun, and the stars up in the sky. One day, Jerry found a seed. He took that seed to the top of a great hill and planted it there. In time, the seed sprouted and became a long, thin trunk of a tree. But its flowers did not bloom. The impatient Prime Minister said, What's the point if it won't Bloom. Cut it down! But Jer replied, Even if it doesn't bloom, it's putting all its effort into growing. Cutting it down would be a terrible thing to do. Hearing this, the tree took the form of a young woman and appeared before Jar. He instantly fell in love with her white skin and beautiful figure. On a moonlit night, he asked her to marry him. After their wedding, the two of them were as happy as can be. The Prime Minister, angry that the prince, the prince had married the maiden, had her cruelly cast out of the ca Wow, this took a dark turn. Jerry was so sad that he shut himself in the castle. Day and night he cried, unable to think of anything but his lost love. The maiden learned of this and stretched her trunk and branches until 
several pure white flowers bloom from their tips. Jedi saw this from his castle window and stopped crying. He went outside. Why is that capitalized? For the first time since his maiden had gone. Sitting beneath the newly bloomed flowers, he heard the maiden's voice. Don't cry. You'll always be able to find me here. It was then that Jerry realized that his love had actually been the tree, transformed into a fair maiden. And then he got real intimate with that tree. And the flowers turned to a bright red. And that is why the tree's flowers symbolize eternal love, permanent and unchanging. Wow, so that's why the flowers are red. So that's the real story. Miss, thank you for the wonderful story. It's my pleasure. You should tell that story to the mayor, too. Then he can stop scaring everybody. Wow, oh, I didn't know about all that, Stell. Yeah, when did you find all that out? Well, I didn't find out about it exactly. I sort of... Made it up. But you said the veil told you. That was a lie. I'm sorry. I was just looking at this veil and the story came to me all of a sudden. Wow, Estelle, you have a real talent for making up stories. A hidden talent, huh? Well, wonders never cease. <laughs> you ever think about becoming a writer of children's stories? Not really. Eh, you can't force her into something that like that. After all, Estelle, you're the princess. That's true. But what does Estelle want to do? Maybe it wouldn't hurt to do it, Lee. To at least give it some thought, right? You're a healer, you're a storyteller, you're a princess. You can do it all, Estelle. I was really hoping that those bushes could be destroyed. There'd be some secret treasure back there, but I guess not. That's fine. I learned a new spell and told the story. All in all, my trip to Halur was, you know, pretty exciting. Also, I just want to point out, according to my walkthrough, That spirit magic quest was supposed to be started in Ospio. But apparently, could easily be been started here in Halur. So I ask you... Why can't the swimsuit thing make it? Moving on. Moving on. Yep, my heart rate's rising. Gotta calm down. Where's the next spot for the book? Heliord. Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'm okay. in here? Or books in here? Bingo. <laughs> Urban planning for bustling cities. That's what I'm looking for. There's nobody around at all. What should we do? Excuse me, we'd like to borrow this book. That's okay, right? I don't hear any objections. Let's take the book and go. I don't know how anyone could hear such a quiet voice. Oh, I'm sorry. He was whispering. I assumed he was giving it an honest try, but I guess not. Um, 
Mantake. All the way back at Mantake, huh? Damn. Okay. Look, some side quests are more important than others. Mostly the ones that involve Rita. Because Rita's great. To men take my giant flying whale friend. Did I ever get that axe? Okay, good. I did, I did learn it all. Oh, good. That means I can drop it off for... Yay! Two birds, one stone. Alright, you creepy little bastard. Take it and let's get this over with. Ah, as you hear it, midget. You always come through in a pinch. You're such a little smarty. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Where do we go? Where it stop? Only I know! This is as good as it gets. This is awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Looks like ADL was happy. How nice. Now, to give you a reward for your help. This better not be something lame again. Yeah, after we work that hard to get you to get it for you. Ding dong! Kill him. If I had the option, he'd be he'd be thrown into that pit. Can't take a joke, eh? No wonder you're such a flatty flatty. Okay, once again. This time it's for real. Oh, okay. No, not Clona. Clonoa. <laughs> Protects against all status. Oh, it's a ribbon. Oh! That last one, not so much, but everything else is pretty nice. Hey, this isn't bad at all, okay? Hard workers deserve appropriate compensation for their efforts. Something I hate more than when honest people are given bum deal. So I couldn't agree more. Hey, you still got some growing up to do, little Miss Innocent. Yeah, I know. I'll do my best. Don't. This all isn't bad at all. Yes, I think it actually came out on top in the end. Well, looks like we made it up pretty well. Yeah, thanks a lot. Sure, sure. Keep it the good work, boys and girls. I'll be seeing you later. The antlions sure are weird. Yeah, we don't know what they want or where they come from. Or anything else about them. Not that I care about any of that stuff. <laughs> That's our genius mage. She must have her gigantic brain thinking about much more important things. But I thought that clothing, or whatever it was he was wearing, was very cute. I prefer the cows myself. If I were only a little shorter, I could fit into that getup. Yeah, I'll bet Carol could wear it. <laughs> me? I, I don't think it would look good on me at all. You'll never know until you try it on. Y Yuri, you too? C cut it out! I guess there's no way to know. But to try it out... Huh? No! <laughs> times like this are the uh, only times those two get along at all. <laughs> it looks great on you, Carol. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Poor guy. I think it was the inn. Yeah, there we go. Books! There it is. Legend that sleeps in searing sands. You know, all of these book titles, I actually probably, I probably should have remembered them. They, they make it really easy to know where to go. 
something you wanted? Well, that's about this book on the shelf here. Oh, that? That shelf is full of books that the guests have accidentally left in the end when they stayed here. To be honest, we don't have any use for them at all. The guests hardly ever come back for their books. You feel free to do whatever you'd like with any of the books on the shelf. So you mean you don't mind if we take one of them? Nah, go right ahead. In fact, that shelf fills up pretty quickly. Why are people leaving books at the inn? It seems so... So... Silly. Throwing away books. Dude, they're books! I mean, I'm not much of a reader myself, but I do understand the, the, you know, the... The importance of a good book. God damn. Alright. Uh, I believe there was one in Ornian somewhere. Uh, HQ in Ornian. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then the last one's in Capuatorum. Got it. So over to Ornian. Hello, buddy. And here we are. Oh yeah, also, I need to check back in with the doctor, because apparently this is another scene you can get if you've done enough healing with, uh, with Estelle. It's a lot of healing! So I might not have done it. Oh, I gotta check. Hello! How are you? Looks like you're just fine. You can tell? Sure I can tell from looking at your face. Ugh! Doctor! Oops, I was working. Is that a patient of yours? Yes, it appears he has some sort of heart disease. Well, did he have someone from the future give him medicine? I don't know that it's working. Amazing magical power. Ugh, it doesn't hurt anymore. Good. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, yes, of course. We'll stay here a bit and get your energy back before you head out again. You have quite a rare talent, young lady. I do? I don't think... No, seriously. Being able to wield that level of healing arts is no small feat. Technically speaking, your skills are a little rough around the edges. You're a born healer. Can't wait to see how you'll turn out. With a bit more training. Yeah. Starting to feel like I'm deceiving that doctor. Because you don't actually want to become a healer? Yeah. Well, that doesn't seem so bad to me. The hospital's hurting for help. And you're just giving them a hand. I'm sure they appreciate it. And you can't help it if you. if they want you to be someone you're not. Maybe you're right. Hmm, maybe that wasn't quite the scene. Oh well. I'm not here for that right now, I'm here for the book. Give me the book! Gimme. Gimme! I said that Flynn's a clean freak as always. Am I? I think this is a normal level of hygiene. Hold on, what's that book? Against the backdrop of New Hope. Bingo! That's what I was looking for. Oh, good. Yuri, when will you ever learn? Alright, you can have this book. I'll take it to the test. Thanks! Thank you. Thank you. You fool. Faking politeness is even harder than just asking directly. I don't know, I think faking politeness is kind of what Yuri does just by reaction. And I need to go to the, uh, the Fortune's Market Headquarter in Capuatorum. Was the other one. And then... Back! 
back to Cap to, to Namco Banda. That's the word. To take the test. So that Rita can finally achieve her dreams. For one should never let their dreams be memes. I get strange sometimes, okay? Just leave me alone. Is this the book you're looking for? This is no mistaking it. The reflections of the scent of the sea. Oh, so you're interested in my autobiography. Perhaps the allure of a high of high sea prophet has finally caught your eye? You wrote this? I mean, could we have it? Straight to the point as usual. I admire your candor. You may have that book if you like. Study it well. You might learn something. This helps a lot. My, all this interest in my life story and now words of thanks from you. I can feel the winds of change blowing across the sea. Alright, so we finally gotten all of them. Yep, I've collected all five. Now I can go and take that test. I have to look for books all across the world. It's a crazy test. The real test has yet to begin. It'll be a written test that requires using these books as reference material. Ah. Uh, just thinking about taking tests makes my head hurt. Would you like to give it a try? See how you do? Nah, I wouldn't have a chance. I don't care about the what's his face degree anyway. Yeah, given something like the she would be like casting pearls for swine. Hey, who are you calling swine? Ouch. I mean not entirely wrong, but still, ouch. Alright. Let's go take a test. First and foremost though, should I check those books to see if they give me information? I could look up the answers, but I don't wanna. Not if I can help it. Uh, flowers. Hmm. Doesn't seem to have a whole lot going for him. Maybe there'll be like a, a, a little like skim the book section when I get to the test. Who knows? Is this test open book? Yay, back in the happiest place on Earth. Or Terrica Luminaes. Luminaes. Uh-oh. Hmm? Ah, that's quite a pickle. You always seem to be getting yourself into pickles. Oh! Ah, uh, no rest for the wicked. Though I guess that doesn't really apply here. Something the matter? I have been helping with the festival here, you see. That guy over there? He's been over there in the casino corner, cleaning everyone out for a while now. Wow, he must be really good. You know that or he's cheating. Pretty skilled at it too. Either way, at this rate, he's going to ruin the festival for everyone. But I guess it's something I can't really ask you to help me with, isn't it? In other words, all we need to do is make him leave. Can we do that? I'd be happy to give you a reward if you manage to 
get him to go away. I'm gonna give it as an official request from our guild, to your guild. A reward for a successful job, you say? But you, did you really do that? Hmm? I wonder. Unless I try. Oh! Oh! Can I get that outfit? I like that outfit. Do you have a minute? Huh? What the hell do you want? You seem to be doing very well. You're a pro, right? You don't see real professional gamblers around here very often. Gambling is my life. When I'm playing, time and space cease to have any meaning. All that remains is betting and winning. Hmm. I understand this man's spirit. Oh, really? Do all these easy opponents do it for you? Or are you looking for a, more of a challenge, perhaps? What do you mean? Wait, you couldn't be. She's determined, all right. She's starting to put her strategy into gear. Why did Judith change into that outfit anyway? I'm trying to think of it. That's a good question. That outfit's pretty over the top. You may have already noticed. But I'm not cheating or anything. Well, it seems that way, but this place was set up so that everyone can have a good time. You know what happens when a pro like you gets serious against a bunch of amateurs? Hm. I play them like I see them, that's all it is. You're so intent on getting rid of me. I thought it might come to this. Alright, I'll accept your challenges. Interesting. Spoon the two of them, stay out of it. Aww. Hmm, I'll bet. Can't hear too well. What did she just say? Couldn't hear either. I wonder what she bet. It's a bet. What's your game of choice? How about this? Cards, eh? Sounds good to me. Play a five game match against the dealer. 100 chips. You're gonna make me gamble? That's it? Come on, man. In five games, you should have had, like, a hundred thousand by now. Loser. I don't need no stinking tutorial. Let's see. I gotta be careful. I only have... I have five games, so betting 20 should be fine. Alright, it's fine. Joker. Alright, we're already on to... Gets... Three of a kind. Alright, alright. Yeah, we're doubling. We're doubling. Sick. Wunderbar. No, stay there. Because that'll give me more betting power. Nice. Damn. Nice! And done! So the legends are true. I admit defeat as promised. I'll return my winnings, and I'll stop coming here for good. You're a good sport. I was able to play against you. It's the most important thing. Until we meet again. Do you know that you're like some legendary gambler we should know about? What are you doing? Who the hell are you anyway? 
I'm just an average run of the mill critian. Not for your reward. Woo! Actual money! I'd like to put up more of a fight or something. Are all gamblers like that? Who knows? Not me. He played honorably. It was a fun match. You bet something while you were playing against him, right? I couldn't hear what it was. What did you bet? I told him if he won, he'd never have to pay for food or drinks here again. <laughs> he earns his living by gambling, after all. A bet of anything else... A bet of anything else would have been an insult. His very way of life was on the line. I love that Judas is now canonically just... Just like the greatest gambler in the history of the world. Also, I love that outfit. Uh, that is now your, not your new outfit. Good. I'm glad you're wearing it. I had no idea you were so good at cards, Judith. Really? I don't think I'm anything special. Come to think of it, I've heard of her before. Really? You knew Raven? Yeah, I heard a rumor or two about a wandering gambler who rides a dragon. They say that the casinos she's gone to have gone bankrupt one by one. <laughs> Someone who rides a dragon? That's gotta be Judith! The stories get bigger every time they're told. All I did in Nordopolica was destroy the Blastia. Anyway, let's stop talking about silly things and get a move on. You know, they say it wasn't just one or two casinos that gambler put out of business. Do you just... Do you just gamble in order to destroy Blastia? You know, never mind. Not gonna, not gonna question it. I got other things to do. You do you, Judith. You do you. Yep. Every single one. Alright then. Without further ado, shall we get started with the written test? Let me refer to the books that you brought to answer all the questions that follow. How hard can it be to ace the test when you look up all the answers in the book? Maybe you should take it too, Carol. Who knows, you might surprise yourself and pass. You there! I'm sorry? Did I hear you say you'd like to take the test, the misconductoral degree? It's pretty tough. You should sit for the NAM certificate. The NAM certificate? Yes, yeah, the test for kids around age 10. It's one of our most popular attractions. Oh ho! Aren't you scared you might fail? A test like this could go for a kid like you. Don't insult me. I'm already 12 years old. That's full two years above the age level for the test. Hmm. It's not just your pride that's on the line here. Uh, oh, this one... I never played Tales of Destiny. I had actually forgotten that that was released in North America. Gonna have to look that one up. Um, Ninety-eight. I'm taking Carol's test. I did not realize that. Who is the worst cook in the party? Oh, that's easy. It's Rain. What is Norma Beatty's nickname in Tales of Legendia? I actually love this game. I believe her nickname was Bubbles. I kind of feel like someone called her Chick, too. Which of the following characters does not appear in Tales of the World Radiant Mythology? Ooh. This is the only- I only ever played the first one because I'm pretty sure the first one's the only one that came out in America. But I'm not certain if I completed it. No Arsh is there. I think Stan was there? Hmm. Alright. 
had to cheat on that one, but that's because that was a toss-up between these two. The following events does not take place on Namco Banda Isle in Tales of the Abyss. I don't remember Namco Banda on uh, Tales of the Abyss. How'd it go? Do you think you passed? It's pretty tough even for me. But I think I probably did alright. That sounds like the Rita I know. What about you, kid? How'd you do? Well, I had a cheat sheet, so... <laughs> Out of possible 800 points, you received... 800 points! <laughs> Good on you, Rita. You're amazing! When it comes down to it, you can get things done, kid. I'm actually quite relieved. I'm only one of the person who's ever passed this test before. Makes you the second person in the world to pass it, Rita. Guys! I still haven't gotten my results yet. Next we have Carol Capel. A possible 100 points you received. 82 points! You just barely passed! I did it! I did it! Yay me! Why isn't everyone else celebrating? <laughs> well, their question's written for a 10-year-old. 12-year-old passing them isn't too impressive. It would have been pretty shameful if he failed. Come on. <laughs> Yay, good job, Rita. So that outfit. And to put it on this special costume. Ah, but of course. What's the matter? Aren't you happy, Rita? Yeah, of course I'm happy. Crying, overwhelmed by emotion, reduced to tears. Salty, salty tears of joy. How is that the reward? You know what? Never mind. They're cows. I should just expect this. S stop saying ridiculous things. Something in my eye, that's all. Sure, Rita. Next off, we have a title for Carol as well. For me? Really? Little shrimp professor. Little shrimp? I thought I was getting the MAM certificate. The damn certificate has various levels. And you're at the lowest of those levels. You get a higher score, and go up in rank. Oh boy, <laughs> Little Shrimp Professor. A fitting title. I do say so myself. Good title for a ten-year-old. Oh no, oh no. I don't want it! I can't have a title like that, you can have it back! <laughs> Wait, you can do that? Wow, this humor is getting pretty meta all of a sudden. It's a perfectly good title. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Genius mage has yet to begin to shine. My head hurts. Are you okay? Should I use my healing arts? Leave him, Estelle. He's just not used to hard questions like that. I think he sprained his brain. But Rita, I'm impressed. You know everything. Well, you never know what might be useful for research. Knowledge is no burden, they say. Estelle's living proof of that. Read enough books and you just learn lots of things without realizing it. Maybe you absorb facts better because you're already reading all the time. That's possible. That tactic won't work for the old man at all. Uh, my head hurts. Here comes the second doofus. <laughs> 
All right, let's get a, a proper close-up of the of the new outfit that Rita has acquired. Why does it come with a weird spider tattoo? Although I do approve of it because look at all the belts. Also puts her hair up in those little pigtail things. That's just weird. Yeah, I'm kind of up in the air about this one. I appreciate a hardcore, like, a uh, goth look, but... You know what? You decide. Tell me how you feel about this one. The Judith one, not questioning. That one... That one's just good. But I think with that and the Great Book Hunt complete... We'll be on Wait, hold on. No, I think I already attained what I'm thinking of here. Yeah. I did get a Wonder Chef here, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I remember hearing there's a Wonder Chef around here somewhere. Wait, no. It's this, isn't it? Ah! I don't know why I missed that. <laughs> Fare thee well, my friend. Fare thee well. And with that, we will end the episode. Hope you all enjoyed yourselves in this weird world tour of book collection. And if you did, feel free to let me know down below with a like, comment, subscribe. And next time, we'll make one more stop before the end. It's finally time. Till then, though, you will have yourselves a fragile day. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Later!